Okay, hi, I'm Daria. I'm a grad student and this is my intern reflection at the MHL. So the main things I was working with was predominantly the MHL acoustics project. Uh, the MHL is um, becoming more and more interested in acoustics and um, we've been working on generating a knowledge base for us to work off of in the future. Um, so that's kind of been my main thing, but also I helped uh, model the Chrysler Room 220 for a CFD project to um, look at uh, spreading rates for COVID inside of a lecture hall. Um, we also made some educational videos for sea perch competition. Um, I'm working on a concrete canoe plaque for our concrete canoe team to go up. And I worked on a lot of general just facilities, maintenance and upgrades. So that's a photo here of us freshly finished with sweeping the tank. Um, but yeah. While I was here, I found a lot of old skills. I was I had an internship here two years ago, so I was able to build off of a lot of that. Um, I got reacquainted with SolidWorks was one thing um, and got to work with hand tools again. Uh, so that up there on the top right is me working um, on getting the flooring ready for classroom 156. Uh, but also I got to work with MATLAB and C++ a little more, become a little bit more comfortable with that and uh, build on my hydrodynamics knowledge um, by working on some CFD projects also while I was here. So I also developed some new, school, new skills, including acoustics. And acoustics is something that's just really fascinating to me because before coming to college, I wanted to be a musician. Um, and I was pretty bummed that like, I wouldn't get to work with sound at all um, in my professional life. But now I've learned that there actually is an intersection between sound and naval architecture, and we've started working on that. So it's been, it's been really neat. To the right here is um, a couple of different acoustics graphs. We found some resonance in the top right in the tank. So we played a two kilohertz sound and uh, that's all the way to the left there. You see that those constant uh, waves. And then we have this weird reflection going on. Um, so we don't know what that's all about, but I found it really interesting. And then to the bottom right, that's some different audio programs that we've been using in our projects. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been super interesting to me. So that's been really cool. But also um, I did some training for machine learning and deep learning because um, in the future, that's something that we'd be interested in with our acoustics. And that was also really fascinating to me. And um, I just, I thought it was really interesting and it helped me understand C++ a little bit better too. And um, I also learned Adobe Premiere Pro for vi video editing, which I also will probably use in my own, um, in my own life for my music. So that was really cool. Um, but also just personally, I've, I've developed a lot here. Um, we just returned to in-person after COVID. So that's been awesome. Um, and I also became financially independent, which was really awesome. The, the internship here helped me do that. And that empowered me to be out at work, um, which I, before it was hard to even really go to class. And everyone here has been so accepting and just awesome about it. So that's really been huge. I'm actually excited to come into work. So thank you guys. But uh, also I developed a new passion in acoustics and I'm hoping to pursue farther education in it because it's just, it's fascinating to me. And I never would have thought coming into this internship that I would have found something that I'm so passionate about. So it's been an awesome, awesome experience. But yeah, any questions? What's your favorite project so far? Definitely the acoustics. Uh, yeah, I literally was scrambling to get like one more graph in for our presentation later this morning. So yeah, I've been loving it. Yes. A returning intern. What is your advice, I guess, of like, if we are returning, like, what are things that you try to learn from the approach entering the same state? Honestly, I was, I was kind of surprised at where my internship went because um, two years ago, I did a lot of, I did a lot more like fabrication. Um, my big project was I made a, I made the wave maker for the wind wave tank. So I was doing a lot more fabrication and this time around I was doing a little bit more technical work. Um, but really there's just so many different options available for you here. There's so many different 
like ways for you to work at the MHL and help the MHL. So just find something that you like and surely enough, like you could end up with a whole project in it. So it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for answering. You finished your senior year. What is next for you after the MHL? Um, so yeah, I have one semester left on my, um, SUGS master's degree. And then after that, um, I'll either be getting a job or maybe, maybe, um, considering a PhD in acoustics. So, um, I'm going to apply and then just see where things go, but yeah. Sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Daria, I've got a question. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what it was like to work with uh, Jim Luby? Uh, you know, because I think a lot of the students are really unaware of maybe your you know, your weekly uh, meetings about acoustics uh, with him. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about that a little bit more in the acoustics presentation. But awesome. um, Jim has been super helpful. Jim is a retired professor at the um, Applied Physics Lab at the University of Washington, and he just like he's been super helpful. He understands, I mean, he understands acoustics, obviously, to just a degree that I don't even comprehend, but he, uh, he's, he's been super helpful. We've been talking for, it's a little over an hour every week. And I think most of what I've learned this summer came from him. It was, it was pretty cool. Cool. Thank you.